What's up everyone? I'm gonna be continuing with the Witch Hunter. So I kinda wanna try it as a non-combo variant, see how that kinda goes. So let's try that out. Um what do I want to do differently for that? We're gonna use the same chapel. We're still gonna go primary. So we're gonna go Path of the Warrior or Defender, either one would work. Blessing of Intellect, Symbol of Essence, Divine Hammer. I'm gonna roll for Lucky Hat, Heartseeker. We could also maybe take a Mage Bane, but I think I just wanna go Lucky Heart, Heartseeker to uh, get our crit up. Uh, we start with Lucky Hat here. We also get a chance to apply Bleeding. Play more Sturdy Belt. Yeah, this is like perfect. We have some Evasion, some Movement Speed. We have a chance to apply Bleeding, which could be good. Also the uh, uh, damage to Undead is kind of relevant. It's kind of nice. Let's see, uh, we'll craft our Heart Seeker. We just recently attuned it, so we'll do that. Fountain, same kind of stuff. Uh, we just want to make sure we, we level, so we're gonna probably put more enemies in here. Some general Trap, Topple Towers, Safe Corridors. Let's go Plentiful Gifts, um, Abundant Shops. So we'll probably run Osrath and want to make sure we get a Poison Statue. Or poison item, so we can activate the statue. Mysterious guidance for more monoliths, glass walk, treasure hunt. We keep spawners because we need more uh, enemies. It allows the consumables. I don't want more, maybe more enemies, but not more elites. Elites are kind of the, the deadly ones. Uh, enemy overseers. Let's go minor strike, agile, dry springs. And that should be pretty good. Um, we could do just without this and pay the 20k. I guess I still need to try out like this and see if uh, it's good enough, like XP wise. Uh, the Watcher fight changes like really kind of hurt that. So since we're trying a non-combo variant, we're gonna go with Markham's Moonshine, which is the new drink. So we can't activate combo; it's disabled, but we get damage per item in our inventory. So. That will eventually make up for Wicked Sickness later in the game as we get more items. And we'll have to deal with uh, Fanatic Corruption or Amulet of Vengeance, so we get extra items and extra drinks. So this has potential to be better than some of the other builds. Uh, we're still going to go Incendiary Demise because it's just so much damage. And the damage over time helps with our Ravens, so we can proc the Ravens a little more as well. Uh, I want to go Overflowing Physique for more health. And what else? What else? Crazy Eye. Uh, we want more crit. More chances to crit. Uh, you also could go Stab in the Dark, but I just don't like playing with Stab in the Dark. And lastly, what are we going to take? I think we're going to take... Ruby Ghost? Get some Evasion. We already have attacks cause Bleeding. So unless there's something that would work with Bleeding that we could use... I think we're just going to go with the Evasion. Could also go with Double Thriller. More damage, more damage taken. Or Homemade Hazard. Double Thriller, Homemade Hazard are both good. Um, just not really sold on either of them quite yet. Ignoring everything that has to do with skills. So I'm just looking through just to make sure we have everything we want. So we did start with some evasion boots, so getting the drink as well would be just a little extra bonus for evasion. And we could look at maybe even adding on the Feralath statue. I think we're just gonna go just gonna go homemade hazard here. Kinda do like an in-between. And statues, make sure we're using some decent ones. Callus is a must, Bulgarth, we're not going to use that because we're not dealing with combo at all. Azrath sounds good. We'll do the poison stuff. Um, this increases the damage of burning and applies bleeding. keep thinking it's damage for uh, bleeding, but we don't have a bleed statue in the game yet. So we can do Feralath, so we get stun and disarm. We can prioritize one of those, or we can do Kyra. Uh, let me check out my starting items again. So Lucky Hat, we have Bleed, and we do more damage to enemies that are bleeding, so just a nice little buff, we don't have to really build around it. 
have a little bit of evasion. 5.9 because it's tuned. Mm. I think we're just going to go Feralath here. Well, we always want to get stun and disarm items. It's also a higher level. Otherwise, you could just take Kyra. Alright, so let's try this out. Our damage isn't going to equal our normal damage early game with the changes to... Uh, well, we're using Moonshine instead of Wicked Sickness. So we're going to need quite a few more items before it comes into play. So this is going to be NG5. And I think we've done everything we need to, so let's get started. And we need to activate our right click. We kept it a low rank so we can get the crit. So we'll just keep doing that. Let's see, fortunate events. Okay. Should we get? We should be getting like plenty of extra damage. And like every item we get is more damage. We have the damage while things are bleeding, which should have a pretty high chance to be applied because we're using Lucky Hat. And now we have the fortunate events. Um, also, as things die, we poison, so we get more damage from that. Ooh, that's a good item to pick up. It's not attuned yet on this character, but 50% more damage while we have no mana. Very nice, so we should have... should be catching up to the Wicked Sickness damage if you, like, ignore the extra items we found thus far. Because we essentially just got 50 from that, we have 25 from the bleed. Obviously if we had combo, we'd have even more, because we'd have those things in addition to it. But um, We're kind of going for a, a late game build to try it out. I think this will be kind of a build you can play on any character. Change a few drinks around, but the idea will be the same. You can do a non-combo build and uh, actually be able to play the game. Also. I remember right, the spheres do more. Alright, so we actually just picked up a blackjack as well, which we have attuned. So that'll work with our statue, the very last statue. So we'll be stunning stuff all the time, so we'll get the extra damage from that. Uh, what was the thing I was talking about? Uh, the drink, the Markham's Moonshine. Spheres count twice, so that's one thing I want to look at. If we have spheres being offered to us from the shop, it might be worth taking it just because it's 10% increased damage. So there's a sphere of mana and a sphere of time. Uh, nothing else really does anything, so we'll take the sphere of time and the sphere of mana for the 20% increased damage, and I'll go for XP, so I have to kill less enemies this run. We're also up to, let's see how many items we're up to now, we're up to 13, but it's really 15 because of the, the spheres. So at 20 items we get the uh, plus 100 damage, and then at 40 items we'll get the plus 200 damage, which would be the breakpoint for uh, Wicked Sickness combo build. Okay, there's another item, up to 16, and we have another way to disarm some nets. One second. Good. Let's make sure movement speed. Just any item is like good now. It's it's all damage. Which is kind of nice. So you can get like an item that actually gives you damage on top of giving you damage from the drink. Feels kind of nice. And another disarm item. <laughs> we have all the disarm items in the game right now. And it's floor three. Yeah, 
The only thing we're missing that's like different from having the uh, the combo is you don't have the movement speed. You don't have as, as much movement speed. Well, there's boots of speed. That kind of helps a little bit. Alright, and boss time. So we can precast our pyre and our wards. Do a ton of damage that way. Because the ward will activate and do, or let us do 100% more damage to it. And the pirate does a lot of damage as well. Even though we're going primary. So that's one of those double damage items. I mean, it would be the same for a uh, combo build, but. I'm curious to see when we'll have 40 items to hit the break even. Don't think I remember this one. Oh, yeah, I do. This is the easy one. Another encyclopedia, so we get the two P's, which is 10% more damage, and then the moonshine gives us another 5%, which is kind of nice, like every item gives you 5% damage. I think I'm going to really enjoy like going non-combo builds. One like every character. We got, we got the poison arrow. Definitely want that because uh, it'll just increase everything. This is a damage item in addition to being a damage item. Sounds great. And we'll take the resist here. Oh, with this guy. All right, we'll shuffle one item. Let's think about which one we want to shuffle around. Um, I want to keep all the movement speed and damage pretty much. But Mana Stone seems like a top candidate. We shouldn't need gold this run. Uh, let's just do that. Let's see what we get. Uh, we got boots. Sure. I'll take that. Free armor, which is damage. Um, we still keep the same amount of items. And it also gives us health. And a piece of the set bonus. So we're already three out of four pieces for that. It's a pretty good pickup. I was trying to think of like what else we could get that would be really good. I think our best would have been the other pair of boots. Maybe. I think we pretty much have all the good like common items in the game right now. Right, let's see, scythe, 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 circle, circle, X, X, Y, Z. I thought I forgot it halfway through there, but apparently not. Apparently we remembered. Just had to think about it a little bit. I feel like my magpie is getting left behind as I pick up stuff. Fancy plume. It's at least damage. It's normally not damage. Here's to see how many items we have here shortly. We'll check before the boss, which would be after this. Anything I worry about for this character is going to be the uh, his defensive stuff because he doesn't really have a way to be defensive besides just kind of running away. So I may have been fortunate I found like disarm items and I'll go out of my way for uh, evasion items and like the pot helm. So 
still have some block. And I'm using Callus, so I have 20% block at least. But Pot Helm would be 40% block and a 360. Which would be pretty nice. Nice little defensive stuff. So we're up to 27 items. Uh, maybe by the end of Act 3 we'll have 40 items and we'll be up to the level of the combo build. Okay, uh, not really sure where all my damage came from, but <laughs> it looked like we just one-shot that guy. My ward definitely didn't go off, and I don't think Pyre did anything either. Uh, so I'm not really sure. We just had like some insanely insane crit. It's really interesting that items like Key Ring give me damage right now. It just feels kind of nice that every item is like slowly increasing your power. Whereas before with the Wiccan Sickness, you just have all the power in the beginning. Uh, and you just don't get as much later. The items feel like really impactful for my character right now. Yo, Haga Baga. Uh, did the crows kill him? I'm not really sure, honestly. I'd have to watch it back. It felt like he just got deleted. Which, I mean, I have... Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, so, uh, six sources of crit. So I could have had, like... A 6 crit with the 560 crit bonus. Or do I have more crit bonus than that? Yeah. Oh, I have... Oh, my crit damage bonus, way up there, is 1060%. So if I got a 6 uh, crit, 1000% crit, then uh, it'd be kind of insane. Uh, what drinks am I using? I'm using Markham's Moonshine, Incendiary Demise, so Flown Physique, Crazy Eye, and Homemade Hazard. So all the crit and crit bonus drinks, pretty much. Uh, and then we're going Moonshine, so we don't have to play in combo. And I've been enjoying the non-combo life so far. It, it feels kind of nice. It's at least fresh. Yeah, another blueprint. we got to be getting close to finishing out our blueprints. Another shuffler. Alright, um, something I want to shuffle. I don't need the mana regen. Or keep your fancy plume, but the more items is strangely relevant. I think everything else gives me some kind of defensive movement speed or damage, so we're just gonna do that. Oh, and we got an upgrade. Alright, so constructs. So we've had two pretty good gambles so far this run. I didn't actually expect you could get him multiple times, but I guess you can. Uh, it, it's kind of weird. I don't know if he takes the place of like a, an actual treasure chest. In a way, that's kind of like smart. You get less items, but you reshuffle like one item. Um, I don't know. It's like it's like kind of an interesting design. I'm not really sure how I feel about how much you have to gamble to get something good. And with the Moonshine, I definitely don't want to gamble more than one item, ever. Uh, Hagabaka, how are you doing, man? <laughs> how is it going? It's all secret over there. Let that guy pick up hopefully everything for me. Doing good? You've uh, played any more Witch Hunter? I'm still trying to get like my ideal my ideal build figured out. I think a lot of it is still uh, his NG hasn't caught up, so I gotta kind of wait a little bit more. So I could probably still just go Wicked Sickness and crush the whole game, but I think Moonshine is gonna be more fun. <clears throat> yeah, I got to NG. From 3 to 5 today, oh nice. Okay. Yeah, I basically picked up exactly where I left off yesterday. Are you still playing primary or are you playing like a mix? Hybrid? I try to play skills. It just feels like the skills are slow right now. Uh, so spheres are double, so I might just buy the sphere because it's 10% damage. I don't get the damage in combo. I definitely want the boot. I think we'll get the sphere. 
And I could go movement speed for undead. I did get more XP, I'll go for that. And we do 10% more damage. So are we up to 40 items yet? We're up to 34. And we got an imp. It's a little harder, 300 mana. Yeah, it seems kind of brutal. Uh, oh, we got Wand of Chaos. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's 5% more damage, right? We have key ring, so we should probably pick up keys, try to get some ace keys. Should be we have 36 items, but we have three spheres, I believe. One, two, three. So it counts as if we have 39 items. So we're almost to the point of having um, wicked sickness levels of damage. After this item, we'll have it. There we go. 40 items. It wasn't so bad. It felt a little slower in the in the early game, but it kind of helped me in a way to kill more enemies, which I think will help later with the XP. We've only gotten well, we've gotten a level and a half actually in three acts. Feels like a little bit more than normal. I usually only get like one in the first act or the first three acts, but we're kind of be we're pushing for like two. It looks like. Got to figure out how we're gonna farm. Our XP easily with the watcher changes. If mana isn't a problem, wouldn't Markham's Moonshine work with Perpetual Demise? It would give 100% skill cost constantly. That adds skill damage for the statute. Yeah, I actually saw where you were talking about that earlier. Um, I updated my uh, text documents on my Discord about my builds, because um, I hadn't updated them in a while, so I updated them to basically have all the information that I use, and I made some ones for non-combo builds as well, so I have all of the builds for combo and non-combo basically planned out. I haven't tested them all, but they should work. And yeah, that's what I'm going to be using for the casters, uh, is Perpetual Demise with the Moonshine for the non-combo builds, and then what Starlet Stinger uh, Elemental Bruiser, and what's the last drink? Oh, uh, Evil Infusion. She gotta have Evil Infusion. So yeah, that looks like a good idea, so I'm gonna try that out at some point when I actually play like a spellcaster. class set up to Google Doc? I mean, I could. I might do that. I just hadn't thought about it. But I can copy and paste everything into it pretty easily. I think that's a good idea, actually. I'll do that at some point. Maybe tomorrow. It's nice to keep up to date and stuff, and also just easier to look at and navigate in text, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, I would agree with that, actually. So I think that's a good idea. I, I, for some reason, like, really just didn't think about that. So I'll put it in there. I'll just have to tell people every now and then when I update it. Because, uh, yeah. 
the text files, I have to like republish them. So people actually know I like updated them. But uh, with the Google Doc, I'll just have to kind of remind people. Or, you know, they're already looking. And it'll be there. Sabatons. I want to get that lantern again. The lantern is cool. Yeah, for sure. You can put the date at the top or something, like last updated or whatever. Yeah, that's a good idea too. I guess I just like posted in Discord saying like, oh, updated, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, check it still say that and link it again. Because people might not know about the link and the, the pins and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be a lot better all around, to be honest. So I can put any links to like build guides in it or I can probably put it on like YouTube videos so people won't have it. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be way easier, actually. It's like weird, so when, like, strange things you like never really think about, and it's like, wow, why have I not been doing that for like the last while? I can also do it where I have commands in the chat that just do the link instead of one for each of the different classes. Uh, what do you think about unbalanced essence? I use to take it every time, but now it seems like it just adds a lot to mana cost and doesn't boost the damage of the longer in the statue either. Um, is that the one that gives you 100 spell power, but you lose 10% of your mana every time you cast a skill? Uh, I do not like that drink, if that's that one. I would not run it. 100 spell power is... I don't know. It is, like, good damage, but I think it's a trap. Uh, you do all this work to have enough mana cost, you just kind of undo it for more damage. Damage is easy to get. Uh, health and like effective health and defenses in this game is hard to get. So anytime I'm like giving up damage for defense, I'm usually feeling pretty good about it. And then the new statues came out and makes where your defense gives you damage, so... Yeah, I wouldn't take that drink. I don't... I don't really like it. Because ideally, if you can't cast your skills, then you can't leech and you're gonna die. But if you can always cast your skills, you can basically leech through anything. Like 9 out of 10 times, you're gonna be able to like save yourself by just leeching through whatever it was. You can at least leech while you like get into a better position. I'm up to. I'm up to two levels. Almost three. So it looks like you might just really have to kill everything now. Did I end up turning on extra enemies? I don't think I did. Last walk treasure hunt is going to be a negative. Consumables, dry springs, miners, agile, overseers. So we just have spawners and overseers is like the only extra stuff we got going on. I usually turn overseers off. I have that steam guide out there, I need to update it for the new stuff. But I haven't like tested a lot. Ugh. Like, I pretty much just know it's gonna work, I just haven't actually done it. I think people don't like it if I just say what's gonna work without like backing it up. Spear counts as double. Is this? I need to think about the spear math at some point. Because you do get every two, you get twenty-five damage in combo. But the drink gives you plus ten per sphere. Do so you actually get less for spears with the drink than without? 
but you get damage for every other item in the game. So at least there's that. Let's go see what the vendor has for me. This is not the way to the vendor. Uh, oh, I have to go like the long way, don't I? Okay. Got to go the long way. Ooh, that kind of hurt. Those wisps are kind of scary for this character. We don't have any like defensive stuff. Uh, are we bleeding? We need to like eventually die to get rid of these. We have too many of them. I guess we'll, we'll do one more bleed. Right of the beast. We collected them all, 30 attack power. Oh, what's our health reduced by now? Because it has diminishing returns, right? We have four, but it's only minus 34% health instead of like all of our health. Instead of 40, it's 34. So it has diminishing returns on the blood rights, which I guess is necessary. They care about Simachimas, there's one for having 10 blood rights. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I feel like I should just do that as like a my paladin and just rush through NG Zero over and over again. I care more about like not failing the run, but I can try to get ten blood rights, but I don't know. By that point I'm gonna be NG ten. And my chance of dying will be pretty high, I feel, if I do that. to read over the other steam achievements then. Maybe there's some other ones I can work to kind of passively. I'm eventually gonna make it to that shop up there. Oops, wrong way. What's our items up to? We're up to 46, so we've made it to the over the 200 damage now. I could just ran through all of it. Traps don't do quite enough damage yet. We don't take the 20% more damage for being in combo, or out of combo, rather, from the uh, fanatic eruption. Yeah, that looks like death over there. Not about that. Hmm. As long as we have something to hit, we can pretty much leech through anything right now. We're like actually targeting the right direction. Alright, what else do we want? Slippery Cloak for some evasion sounds really good. Armor of Kings is 30 armor and 30 uh, attack power. Then we're gonna go more crit, so we have even more crit chance. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 chances to crit. So we can get uh, what is it? Octocrits? Could be insane damage. How do I get back over there? Oh, there's a little gap. Okay, I didn't see it. We've done three and like a half levels by killing basically everything. Not sure my preferred strategy for the Watcher anymore. I 
I like the uh, trying to LOS strategy, or I like the like kite in a circle strategy. I guess it depends on your class. But see, now I'm caught out. So if he does the little machine gun thing, you need to hide behind the pillars. So you probably need to like actually fight him legit now. Melee characters can probably still like go up in his face. But the circle strategy seems fun. Let's try to save mana to drop a ward before he comes down. Yeah, we have crazy damage right now, so I don't think it matters. This one, we want to stand closer to the middle. I like the little sound it makes when you interact with those. Mm -hmm. Horrible imitation, but it's like when you talk to someone in the town. Alright, what do we get? We got the blow dart? Sure, why not? This feels like it's taking a lot longer than the other one. It's either like the build slowing down or um, the ramp of time is just taking a little bit. I'm also like actually going after all the items. I think I can just run through. Yeah, the armor is pretty good. Give me some more. There'll be a point where the witch hunter will work as like a, a hybrid character better than like primary or skill build. Greater insight, All right? We got lots of XP, so we don't have to kill everything anymore. We can kind of look to go fast now. We have an anvil coming up as well. It's probably better for us just to save our ore at this point because it feels like we're going to complete the run pretty easily. But I want to go for fun, so we're probably going to make some kind of item. What should we make here? Uh, Amulet of Kings? We have one piece. Could just go for health. More evasion. Evasion's always nice. Judgment or damage. Markums, we have zero pieces of Markums. Go Shield Breaker, could go Sword of Kings. Um, I think we'll just go. I think we'll go Judgment. Judgment sounds fun. It's 80? 80. 80 ore probably wasn't worth it uh, for a non progression run. I mean, I guess it's a progression run, but I feel pretty confident, so. What tier 4 blessing are you using? I'm using hammers. Uh, you can't really see them because I'm like running into them, but they're there. Um, I've been like debating about trying strike. Or not strike. Uh, yeah, strike. I think hammer or strike could be good. I was gonna crash. That took way too long. Spooky. Alright, we got our levels, so we can just kinda cruise. I'll see, I'll go over here to like proc imps and look for secrets. But unless there's something we need to go after, we're just gonna kinda run to the end. Alright, we proc the imp. It's probably in that spot I was talking about. 
There he is. What's up, dude? Go to town. Oh, this is right before we're about to shop. Maybe we can shop real fast and come back. We don't spend all our money. Let's see. Does he last for like a minute, I think? And this pauses the game, at least. Uh, Amulet of the Kings. Do you have anything that just does more damage? Sphere of Warriors. Uh, it's 10 damage there. Maybe we'll just go... We'll just go for like the safe bet. Get the resist and everything. And then the damage. Alright, try to send our money back now. I used to think Strike would be good with attack speed buffs, but actually Hammer's cooldown shortens with attack speed increase too, so it's basically always better unless you have naturally fast attacks. Yeah, unless your attacks are already faster than the cooldown of the Hammer, it's usually better to run Hammer, because the Hammer cooldown is 0.3, which is basically 3 attacks per second. So if you're faster than 3 attacks per second, then uh, it's probably better to go Strike, but even still... Um, yeah, and the same works with like the other ones. All the all the skills, since they're all primary skills, they just count as primary skills. Um, they all scale with primary stuff like attack speed. Which doesn't really tell you that it uh, changes the cooldown of it, but it does. It, it like changes the rate you can attack. Ooh, is that three piece kings? Alright, I got that backwards. Let's see, three piece? Three piece. Nice. And our damage is completely bonkers now. Check for a crack in the wall. I've already found an imp. Yeah, so. There's... what classes do I actually play a strike on? I play strike on the Warlock, and the Thief? I think that's it. Everyone else would do like Divine Blast. No, Ranger I use Hammer as well. I play Ranger with like the exact same build I'm playing right now. But it could work, I just prefer um, being able to attack in like a, a direction, and my hammers are going to go that direction. So if there's like 10 units coming to me, and I want to kill a certain one, I can target that certain one where the strike is going to ping pong between all of them. Um, that's just a personal preference. I don't think it's like right or wrong to take strike or to take hammer there. I think either one could work really well. But that's just my personal preference why I take it, so I can uh, target things a little easier. Right, we have an ace key over there. It's kind of why I take it on here. In some aspects, I feel like strike would be better for like cleanup, so I don't have to be as focused with my targeting. But um, I don't know. You win some, you lose some. There's only so much you can do. And I think I go divine blast on like everyone else. See. Divine Blast, Gladiator, I uh, could go Divine Blast and Thief, I usually don't, but I think it's acceptable as well. Uh, hey, what's up, Imp? Keys, another Ace Key, but I can't use that one. Um, oh yeah, Paladin, I go Blast as well. Paladin, Gladiator, Thief is like a maybe. Warlock could even be a maybe if you're playing the primary version. I kind of prefer playing the primary version. I feel like it's so easy for me to get killed as the pure, like, spell based version. Brain Drago Hammer, Sorcerer Drago Hammer, Wizard Ego Strike. Who's left? Is that everyone? Blast, Strike, or sorry, Blast, Hammer, Hammer. Strike. Uh, strike. Blast. Strike. Blast. Hammer. Yeah. I rarely go strike. Blast and hammers.
Magpie is so slow. He needs to catch up. I'm like picking up everything before he can get over here. Already got that one. Oh, we have a new die. Firefly. Ooh. More die. There's our trickster thing that we were thinking about getting before. So now we should have, we should have like some pretty decent evasion now. 27. With uh what? 8% luck or 8 luck. Should we try anything different next run? Oh, this is a different effect, doesn't it? Uh, enemies you look at are slowed by 50%, have their armor reduced by 50%, enemies affected by the gaze that you hit are stunned for 6 seconds. Get up to 70 items, which is not quite 400% damage, it's like 350% damage. Uh, the spheres increase it some more. How many spheres do I have? Five? Uh, so it's equal to 75 items. Should have like some pretty crazy damage. Let's see, we did 130 million 42 fizz with 88 magical. Uh, Alright, so magic is still the highest, and it took us 35 minutes. Alright, it wasn't as slow as it felt like. It felt a lot slower, for some reason. And stuff to a tune. What is next? Um, I feel like I just need to work on defense. So we have basically all of the big things. 18 points. I don't want to do 18 points quite yet. So let's get all the defense that are like lowly items. Uh, armors, like defense and damage. The pamphlets could be okay. At least undead, beast, and aberrations. Um, Markham's purse, not quite yet. Lucky charm. The spheres, we don't care about the spheres because we're going moonshine. Get more HP. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything. Flat damage could be okay. We'll take the block, the spell block, the armor resist damage, everything. Uh, some resist. That's pretty much everything. That's all the, the little ones we need. At least all the ones that are defensive oriented. So we'll move into the green items. We can do like two green items. So we will we'll do which ones? A seal of souls is crazy damage. Definitely want to do the evasion. I kind of want to do pendant because it would give us 100% increased damage if we found it. Uh, same kind of thing goes with seal of souls. There's huge damage, but I don't think we have an issue with damage. So I think we should just invest into uh, defensive stuff. So what's next? Flat health. 50 health if we find this, that's pretty good. Uh, is that better than 20 health with 12 attack, 12 skill power, four, 8 armor, 8 resist? Probably not, this is probably better. Let's go with that, and then we'll go down here and we'll get some last bit of utility or movement speed or whatever is left, damage. So that's damage, like 2 flat damage on primary attack instead of 1, it's not like a big deal. Spheres don't matter. Mana doesn't matter. Gold could be okay, we, just means we don't have to go out of our way for gold as much. Regen doesn't matter. These scrolls and missiles don't really matter. Stiletto could be good. Stiletto is probably the biggest damage increase of all of them. Alright, so that is going to be the Witch Hunter NG plus 5.